WillNisley.com Will Nisley. Hey guys, this is W Creator. Today, I will be showing you how to configure your windscreen router. In this video, you will learn how to 1. Connect to your wireless router through your web browser. 2. Set the name or SSID of your wireless network. 3. Change the passphrase or password of your wireless network. 4. Set up a guest network. 5. Disable the insecure WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup. Let's jump right in by showing you how to log into your wireless router. To begin, let's open Chrome and type in these, fo these following numbers. 192.168.254.254 This is what's known as your internal router address. After you've entered this in, there should be a dialog box that appears. For the username, enter admin, and for the password, enter admin. When done, click the login button. You are now ready to set up to set the name of your network. To set the name or SSID of your of your network, click on wireless. Then, underneath where it says SSID, enter a name for the wireless network. Then, click apply slash shave. You have now successfully changed your wireless network name. The purpose of a guest network is to allow untrusted users to, to use your internet connection without getting access to your private information. To set a guest network, click on wireless and look for a section titled wireless dash guest backslash virtual access points. Then check the first check the first checkbox to enable the first guest network. The default name is WL0 underscore guest one. You can change this to something more to your liking. To save your changes, click on apply slash save. You have now successfully set up a guest network. To change the password of your wireless router, first click on the security tab, then click on the drop down menu next to select SSID. Select the network that, that you want to change. Now select the network authentication protocol. I recommend that you use WPA2-PSK because it is more secure than WEP, a less secure network encryption protocol. The final thing that I'm going to have you do is disable the Wi-Fi protected setup setting. The reason why you want to disable WPS is because it allows devices to connect to the router without a password when they are physically near the router. If you are not already on the security tab, then select the security tab. Partway down the page, you will see WPS Setup. Select the drop down menu next to Enable WPS. Click on the drop down menu and select Disable. Then click Apply slash Save to save your changes. This concludes my video demonstrating how to configure your windscreen router. Thanks for watching and have a great day. I only call you when it's